Gonna mod you a little bit, keep your drift. And you're going right inside the tires right here. This is not a bad track layout in car. That's fun. Ah. What's going on guys, welcome to another video. We're gonna be drifting Kuno style. And by that I mean we're gonna be using the factory stuff that's already loaded into the game. This is no mods here, but I actually found out that the drift track is probably one of the best layouts I've ever done. Um, I've done some cruising, some studying, and I found a really cool layout that I'm about to show you. So we're also gonna be using a factory Kuno's car. Um, this is, you know, the BMW E30 drift car. You type in E30, you'll see it. They got the E30s in here. These are factory. This is not any, let's do this one. I like the black and yellow, it's our colors. Let's do that one. And uh, make sure um, traction and ABS are off. I think they are on by factory, so make sure they turn off. And uh, we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you guys the lap. So let's go and start it. All right, now we're only gonna change one thing, and that's tires. I'm not changing anything else, not changing alignment. You can if you want to, but I'm just going to change tires from semi-slick to street. Semi-slicks are kind of hard to drift. Uh, they grip up at random times and uh, not really good for us. So this, I found the street tires to be pretty good. And um, remember when I first got on this game, I went to this track with the E92 drift car. And that was what I was trying to learn. And then my friends sent me some links and um, they got Tando Buddies cars and then found out those are super easy to drive and then started driving other cars but yeah it's fun to be back in the original stuff so um anyways we're gonna start off i'm gonna explain the layout as i go through it we're gonna go ahead and start off in second we're gonna clutch kick and you're immediately going to the right so this is a kunas car this has 340 horsepower it's an e30 which means it's super light so that's uh plenty of power you really just pedal it in this car most of the time you don't really floor it ever really Come on, get some. Okay, there we go. We need to manage, manage the angle a little bit better. Then we're gonna mod you a little bit, and then we're gonna kick it. Oh, I'm at the e brakes. I fixed my e brake, by the way. Well, I bought a new one. I didn't fix it. And now we're in the middle circle. We're gonna have to mod you the middle circle a little bit. And float, float, float. Come on, there we go. And then we're exiting on the big, the big opening. And then we're going this way and then you're going to follow the tire marks to a deep inside right turn which is kind of hard so you're going to be going slow this is a little tricky section right here if you want you can do this little umbrella thing i call it the umbrella that's what it kind of looks like try to go around that little playful thing and then you come out of there and then you're going against the other back wall the first wall had a white sign this one has a black sign then you're going to the red wall. I'm gonna mod you a little bit, keep your drift. And you're going right inside the tires right here. The floor to get it back up to speed. And then we're going all the way back, like a, pretty much a 180. That's where we came from. Mod you a little bit. And now we're going back into the middle circle, but this time left. And we're gonna cruise this turn, like half throttle, third, three quarter throttle. It's gonna straighten out. So we're gonna mod you and then we're gonna go and do it again and then we're coming right back out of that big opening the first one and now we're going towards the back wall with the white sign and this is the second turn we did so it's a long 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 sweeper ah! and then we're right back into the first section Maintain a drift, maintain a drift, maintain a drift, pedal it, pedal it, pedal it. And that's where the pit lane is right there. But we're not going to the pit lane. You're going around this little turn. This turn is going to send you to the red wall. And we're going to go out here and not going straight or you turning. And that's it. That's the whole layout. You pretty much touch everything on the track. Right here on your left is where the pit is, and we're right back to the beginning of the layout. So we just do it again. So we can sit there and just do this thing unlimited amount of times. Just follow that layout, and that's the layout I kind of figured out on my own. I don't know if I'm the only person to ever do that. I don't think I am. I'm sure there are videos of other people trying to figure it out, the best layout. 
but when i first went here i thought it was just a bunch of random turns and then i didn't really know that a lot of them kind of float together so it's really cool to figure out a layout in the midst of all this thing so we're gonna try to do it one more time and then i'm gonna switch to the e92 because that was the first car i tried to drift on this game that'd be kind of cool to like see if i could do it in that car so i think the e30 m3 drift car with the 343 horsepower is a really really smooth car to drift like i said plenty of horsepower it accelerates street tires is really good semi slicks is a little weird but all right let's go around the umbrella again about the e-brake just a little bit up 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 don't hit the grass really tight in there so it's really really small and back against the back side oh no don't spin don't spin i spun damn finally went out of drift all right clutch kick we're going back into it act like it didn't happen little manji back inside the tires and then hard turn hard turn don't forget that one hard turn i lost all my speed right there and then back to the middle circle my tires are cooked right now they have no grip right now yeah my tires are cooked <laughs> let's make it back to the beginning at least come on barely hitting the throttle. I'm tapping it right now. I feel like I have a thousand horsepower. And then, all right, back up to the white wall. Maji to maintain speed, to maintain drift. And then we got the long sweeper. Three quarter throttle right here the whole time. Letting off, letting off, slowing down, letting it grip up. Back to the pit area. Got the little kick a little bit. Back through here, back through here, back to the red wall. Woo. Woo. And that's it. That is it. And right there is the pit exit. So that is where we start. So that is the layout. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what it's called. I don't know if there is a name for that layout, but I just call it the Kuno Strift layout because I think it's perfect. So let's go get the E92 and try to do it all over again. All right, now we're gonna grab the E92. I was actually just watching the replay and I might've saw one little change I can make. I don't know if I could do it on the fly. We're gonna try it. Um, E92, and now we're back to where we started. I've drove this car in a long time. That is, I don't know which one to pick. I'll go with, uh, hey, we'll go with where we started. Remember, that was the first one I picked. So, taking it back old school right now. So, as I was first, let's change it to street tires. We're going to do the same thing over here, just street tires. That's it. So, as I was watching the replay just now, uh, when I come out of the big circle, I kind of made a long sweeping turn into the area with the umbrella, but watching it from above on the replay, I can actually see I can make another sharp turn, one just before that, and it kind of flows back into it. So we're gonna try it, we're gonna freestyle it. I might get it, I might not. So if I don't make it, it is what it is. But anyways, back to where we started. Oh, let me put my stuff back on. Track map so you can follow along. And my cluster. I we got 80, 83,000 RPM now. Well, I, we probably had that before. All right, clutch kick in a second. All right, this car. This car is definitely heavy. <laughs> I can feel it in the steering wheel. And technically, it does have more horsepower, but. And a heavier car, not the same. But this thing is has a longer wheelbase, so it kind of it does kind of float, sit at an angle a little bit better. I might have to e-brake here because it's going kind of fast. Oh oh oh! I'm messing up. Yep. Yeah, I remember um, when I first started. I was basically stay. Oh no! What's, 
fun. Uh, yeah, I remember when I first started. We're gonna start over. Sorry, we're gonna start over. Trying to make it quick. Remember when I first started? I just went in that circle with this car and just drifted around in circles over and over again. <laughs> All right, let's see. Clutch kick. Whoa, you gripped up. Why'd you grip up? Yeah, E30 is better. <laughs> I, I, need to get, I just need to get used to it. Get used to it. It's, it is a completely different car, but E30 is definitely easier to drive than this car. It's not bad. It's just, it's different. I'm not used to it yet. All right, let's go into the corner. E brake. All right, maintain speed. There we go. A little bit of manji, a little bit of a flick. All right, so here's the part I gotta freestyle. I come out of here and I'm going deep right here. Oh, oh, did I get it? I got it, kind of. So this is kind of like the opposite direction. This is hard. This is the opposite direction of which you will be going towards the black sign. And then going this way, so the umbrella will be on this side. Try to hit the umbrella. I don't even know if I was sideways there. <laughs> and then, yeah, it shoots us back out this way. So yeah, that might be the way we're supposed to go. Yeah, and then it goes back into the center. Okay, so that way kind of works. It's just harder to get into, but it does flow a little bit better. So we'll try it on the next lap. We am still learning this map. But the rest of the layout, I think um, that's how it's supposed to be. Megan limiter in the graph a little bit. Well, it's nice to know I got better at this game. Because <laughs> uh, before I was stuck on that circle, and like I said, I was I was lucky I could do two turns in a row. And now I'm back here doing the whole course, so that's kind of cool. I think my tires are cooked already. All right, let's see. All right, we're back at the beginning. This thing's super loose. In the front too, not just the rear tires. All right, cruise it, cruise it, cruise it. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Gotta make this drip ring out. Oh God. I need to break. Heavy on the brake right there. Clutch kick, back up to speed. Take it back one time. Take it back one time. All right, now let's find, this is the entrance, the exit of the big circle. And I gotta find, oh no, oh no. Yeah, my tires are done. But that's where I go instead. Before I was going that way and following the tire marks, I'm supposed to go this way. Bring this out to the black sign. Then it will actually take me right into here. So yeah, that is a smoother entry to just follow the tires. All right, we gotta go around. We gotta go around. We gotta go around. No matter. Okay, that was terrible. We're still going. Okay, we're going around this way. There we go. We did it. Now. All right, now we're gonna go. Yeah, I need to reset the car because the street tires are done. Definitely like the E30 better. It's still not a bad car though. So this is good because if you are maybe new to the game and haven't downloaded any mods yet, or maybe just tired of running mods, 
this is not a bad track layout in car this is uh i guess is pretty good So, yeah, you can use the Kuno stuff and have a fun time. Just figure out where you need to go, and uh, this is not bad. All right, and loop back there, and we're back at the beginning, and that's the pit exit. Okay. So, I like that. I like that a lot. We're going to try it one more time. Um, only because there's a new exit or a new, new strategy involved in the area. Our tires are... I could change my alignment and stuff, but I'm not. We're just going to go. And uh, I'll just adapt. Clutch kick. So, we're going to do one more lap. Whether I make it or not. I won't make a super long video. But... Uh, Come on, come on, come on. Need some momentum. Need some momentum. Need some speed. Come on, accelerate, accelerate. Because this isn't a long drift. Oh, no. And we got to make it all the way into the circle, which is a long drift. All right, back and forth, back and forth. All right, and out of here. Oh, I always grip. I don't know. I just that part's hard. It's hard to maintain it. All right, there's not even drifting right now. That's a wall. Jesus Christ! All right, I messed up, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to mess up, guys. It's okay. All right, let's go around the umbrella. Woo! I let go of way too much angle there. The E30 is so much smoother. So if you want to learn how to drift, oh, use the E30. Yo. E92 is cool, but yeah, it takes a little bit more, more commitment, maybe. Not necessarily finesse, more commitment, because it does seem like it wants to grip up more. And again, the horsepower is, like I said, it's just, it's slower, a slower car. It's still fun. It's still fun. Got the commit. Probably need to hit limiter a little bit more. Maybe that'll help. Because I am kind of pedaling it. Our speed limiter. <laughs> it is driving a little bit better. All right, and that is going to do it right there. Bang limiter, bang limiter, bang limiter. That's the slowest 360 in the world. <laughs> I want to learn 360s. I've never actually tried 360. Hold on, I'm going to try it right now. We're about to end this video, but I'm gonna try it right now. I know it's best to do it coming out of a turn. I have no how to, no idea how to do it. Through 60. So you, well, that was a really low 180. We'll figure that out another day. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Um, hopefully, you learned that a new layout in the um, stock Kunos track. And the Kunos cars are pretty cool. So if you don't have mods, you just started the game, maybe you're on Xbox and you bought this game by mistake, thinking you're going to get all the stuff that everybody else has, but they don't realize they're on PC and have mods. Um, like I did, I definitely made the mistake. I bought the game on Xbox and it was a terrible decision. So um, yeah, I can't do crap. It sucks. But this stuff is actually on there. So if you want to be on Xbox, you can do that. So um, stay tuned for the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Next one, we're going to be doing some uh, VR. So my friend let me borrow his uh, Quest 2. 
So I'm going to figure out how to set this up. And I'm going to figure out how to do this in VR. When we come to this, back to this track, go to another track, I don't know yet. We have to figure it out. But stay tuned for that because I'm really excited for that. I've always wanted to try drifting in VR. And um, yeah, it's going to be fun. So thanks for watching, guys. Deuces. I will see you in the next one. That looks so sick. No way. Is it the rain? Yo. That is sick, yo.